Hello and welcome back to another movie review. As always, I am Kelly and I just got out of countdown. Oh no, it's, it's, a, it's a clock and it's counting down. The scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Why does this exist? Why, why do we keep making horror films about killer technology or specifically killer millennial technology? Oh no, we have a ghost. Skype call. We've got a friend request that won't go away. We've got a countdown on our phones. This shit is stupid. And this movie is just as stupid as any of those. And oddly enough, it's just... I was bored out of my brains in this. It's just dumb. This is really dumb. Okay, I shouldn't go into it, you know, completely wanting to bash its brains in because it has so little of those that it needs every single cell it has. There is a couple of things I can say positive about this movie and I should probably just start with those. The one really good thing I will say about this movie is that the two leads are trying really hard to make crap material work and occasionally they do. Occasionally they take this really shitty writing and because they've injected their personalities into it, kind of raises up to that level of, oh, I see where you're going with this. I get it now. The two main leads inside of this genuinely feel like they're trying to make this work. They don't want this to stain their resumes for the, all of time, but it might still do that. But other than those two, pretty much the acting in this is pretty bad, so... Yeah, I can't think of anything else good about this, so let's just go into the bad. First thing you're going to notice really quickly is how bad this writing is. This movie is basically just Final Destination, but without any of the clever, you know, where is it coming from, how is it going to kill them kind of thing going on. It's a PG-13 Final Destination, but it feels like they're trying to go for the same kind of comical tone that Happy Death Day went for, and I'll just... Put this out here right now one of my biggest regrets in this doing this channel other than my you know big long hiatus is that i never actually got a chance to review happy death day one i went to two other movies that week i can't even remember what they were but they were just boring and garbage i think one of them was the free state of jones actually which was just shit happy death day is one of the most fun horror experiences i've really ever had. I bought that DVD for like five bucks on a whim because people started saying, oh yeah, no, it's enjoyable. You should go watch it. I watched it and I was just like, why didn't I see this earlier? And in theory, trying to model the same type of semi-comical tone with horror elements that Happy Death they did in a Final Destination-esque scenario, that could work in theory. But the writing in Countdown is so insipid that all of the jokes that they use inside of this feel like they were curved from somebody's YouTube comment section. They are very mean-spirited. They are genuinely not funny, but they're that kind of douchey not funny where you can tell that the person who said it is really fucking proud of that line. But it's not funny. It's, if anything, offensive. Hell, they even throw in a joke at a guy who thinks the Holocaust was fake and say, yeah, no, we can totally download this app on his phone and let him die. It's perfectly fine. Again, I see where you're going with that, but you just cursed a guy to eternal torment and pretty much the worst death imaginable, or at least the worst afterlife imaginable, because he's a shitty person. Definitely sounds like cancel culture, doesn't it? Okay, that joke was probably going too far. But it's just... It's shit like that. Back talk that they think is funny that isn't. And the biggest problems in this movie are this stupid-ass repair guy who even gets a mid credit scene for no goddamn reason. And this stupid priest who's got tattoos, he's smoking, and he's really into the occult, because every time they tell him how horrible the situation is, his go-to response is, oh man, that was awesome! It's like, fucking 
hell. Give us a real person and not this stupid stereotype, please. Again, comparing it to Happy Death Day, when they went into those stereotypes, they genuinely had fun with them and they usually humanized them by actually showing how they got to that. The main character is that really douchey, preppy, slutty, you know, uh, person, but it's because she's on a self-destructive path because she can't get over her mom's death. And over the course of the repeats, she sees how she's turned her into such a horrible person that she doesn't want to be anymore. It's part of a character journey. None of that in this. In fact, it's, you know, murder's fine as long as it's a rapist. Because, fuck him. And yeah, that's the second part of this problem, is there's a lot of really, really stupid tangents in this movie that are clearly just in there because they're topical. The big one being Me Too. We've got ourselves a raping doctor who then says that the girl came on to him to get her in trouble and cover his ass, even though I'm pretty sure we can determine the cameras. You, know, you did this. I mean, we don't even need to look inside the actual room. I mean, just based on how things were going, the guy, how he acted, the fact that she tried to go to you first, and you know it, you stupid fucking nurse. It's just bad. It is just pointless. And it kind of gives itself a pat on the back because at the end of this movie, the guy apparently goes to jail. And he's got three women who are confessing all this other stuff. Where is this coming from? Again, if you're meant to hate this guy, I'm sorry, I hate her because she's still trying to commit murder to save her own ass. The main chick is trying to murder him because the whole way to, you know, fix the situation is prove that the devil is a liar and that the countdown is wrong. So someone who downloads this app and it says they're going to live for 90 years, you know, kill them. Devil's a liar. No one void. Everyone's freed. Which completely goes and spits in the face of your end credits scene, by the way. Because, um, yeah, he should have been perfectly fine. There's no reason that the ghost or devil or demon, whatever the hell this thing actually is, because they don't even fucking explain any of it, should go after him. They broke the chain. Everyone who downloaded the app is no longer bound by the said app, turning it into a literal number generator. <laughs> you know, it just... It's pointless. Just saying. And just one more little rock on the pillar of this thing. The worst kind of horror films are the ones where you can see an easy out, like, right out of the gate. You know, it's just one of those moments where you're just like, wait, why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do that? Wait, wait, if you go, no, you can do that right now. Why are you waiting to do that right now? And guess what? They just did that. The easy out of this, obviously, is one person kills himself and they save hundreds of thousands of people who download this app. That's all they have to do. It's really all they have to do. And they go through some convoluted, you know, protection seals and crap like that. And then the guy walks out of it like a fucking idiot. But it's at the same time, you're just like sitting here. We could easily fix this, right? Eh. Give me a shot of something. I mean, once once you die, you know, someone can still resuscitate you and you come back. That's exactly what they did at the end of the movie. Why didn't they do that earlier when they had ten hours? Instead of faffing about on all these little stupid pointless side quests, like with Rapist Doctor, and waste their time. It's just dumb. It's stupid. It's a PG-13 Final Destination that doesn't know what tone it's going for. And it's fucking garbage. Again, I'll give the lead actors credit. They're trying with shit material. One of my favorite lines is, you know, the guy who realizes he's going to die and he knows he's being haunted by this evil spirit. You know, he goes fucking crazy and is about, you know, I'm the kind of guy that knows he's going to die today, so I don't mind taking somebody with me. You know, it's moments like that where I was like, okay, Genuinely kind of cool and funny, but it's not enough to save this movie in any way shape or form So my honest to God final verdict on this one is a fuck it. This gets Nothing from me. I don't want anyone seeing this piece of shit garbage And if you're one of the ones who have seen it, I apologize that I can't give you your money back directly because This is just shout out here because October it really feels like it should have been pushed back to 
it really feels like it should have been pushed back and released in January with how shit it is. And yeah, that's it for me. Have you seen Countdown? I apologize. What shitty horror film have you seen in the October or January cycles that, you know, left a bad taste in your mouth? Leave it in the comments down below. Let's get some healthy discussion going. And as always, if you like what you see, be sure to hit the like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. All of those help my channel grow and eventually, hopefully one day, grow it into something good, maybe? Also, I've been streaming pretty consistently every single Thursday at 11 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. If you want to check that out, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you know when I go live. And yeah, that's it for me, so I guess I'll see you all next time.